Okay, this section is on graphing equations by the slope-intercept form. Uh, what you'll have to do is solve the equation for y if it's not solved for y, and then you'll find the y-intercept and the slope. For example, this equation right here tells you a person's uh, Fahrenheit temperature uh, after so many minutes that they've been experiencing hyperthermia. So, for example, uh, the F is playing the role of Y, and X is the T variable right there. Okay, so this is like Y equals 0 0.36X plus 99. So it's solved for Y, and when you have an equation solved for Y, this will be your y-intercept right here, and I can tell you for sure that that's your y-intercept because if you put 0 in for the x variable, 0 in for t, you'll get 99. And here's that point plotted. If you put 0 in for t, 0.36 times 0 is 0, plus 99 gives you 99. So that is your y-intercept. Okay. Now this number right here is the slope. If we plotted several points like I did here, you'll see like if you put 1 in for t, then 0.36 times 1 is 0.36 plus 99 is 99.36. Well, when you put 2 in for t, 2 times 0.36 is an additional 0.36 or 0.72. 2 times 0.36 is 0.72 plus 99 is 99.72. And you could do that for more x values. And what you realize is that that's how much it's going up by for every unit on the x-axis. So that's the slope right there. That tells you how steep the line is going up. It's going up 0.36 every minute. Your temperature is going up 0.36 every minute, and that's the slope. Now, once you have those things, you can graph that. And let me go ahead and graph this equation. OK, here's the equation, f equals 0.36t plus 99. Okay, the y-intercept is going to be this spot right here, 0, 0.99. It always is when the equation is solved for the dependent variable. Now, if you want to check it, uh, let me do this. Let me replace the f with y, Okay, because the Fahrenheit is your y variable, the y-axis, and t will replace t with x. So you're used to dealing with x's and y's. Uh, so we have the equation y equals 0.36x plus 99. Now, how do you get a y-intercept? Um, well, to, to get a y-intercept, substitute 0 in for x. So I'm substituting 0 right in here for x, and that'll be 0 0.36 times 0 plus 99. Well, 0 0.36 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 99 is 99. So in other words, that's the y part of your y-intercept right there. It's actually 0. 99, that means at time zero at the start, right when you started measuring this person's temperature, their temperature was 99 degrees. That's a coordinate. Zero on the x-axis, 99 on the y-axis. Now, you could plot points to get uh, the other ones, and I'll do that a second here until we see what the slope is. But if I put in 1 for x, well, if I substitute 1 in for x, 1 times uh, this 0 0.36 is 0 0.36. 0 0.36 plus 99 is 99.36. So that's a coordinate that needs plotted, just like the last one. 1 on the x-axis and up an additional 0.36, so we're at a height of 99.36. If I put 2 in for x, 2 times 0.36 is 0.72 plus 99 is 99.72. So there's a point at 2, 99.72. And if you put 3 in for x, 3 times uh, 0.36 is 1.08 plus the 99 is 100. 0.08. So at 3, you have a coordinate 3, comma 100.8. Now instead of graphing all these points, you really only need two points that graph a line. So you can use the y-intercept as a point. That's this value right here, 0, 0.99. Plot that first, and then realize that this is the slope. This is telling you how much the uh, temperature is rising every minute. Slope, when you think of slope, think rise over run. So if your number before the x variable is not a fraction, write it as a fraction. So that'd be 0 0.36 over 1. So that means when you run 1 along the x-axis, you're going to rise 0.36 on the y-axis. So run 1, here we are, at this y-intercept. Plot that first, 0, 0.99. Now run 1 and rise 0.36. Boom. Right there's your next point. And that's really all you needed. You could continue that out. Run 1 and rise an additional 0.36. So if you have the y-intercept, graph that. 
and then the slope tells you how much it runs and rise. Rise right here over run. And uh, that's a good way of graphing a line very quickly, and definitely slope is a key concept that you need to know uh, what that means. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one. For this equation here, it says to graph this equation y equals 2x plus 3 by the slope-intercept method, follow these steps. First, graph the y-intercept. See, it's solved for the dependent variable. You have y equals. Okay, you can't do this unless you have the equation solved for y. Then this will be the y-intercept, actually at 0, 3. So put a point on the uh, y-axis at 3, okay, right there at 0, 3, uh, trying to get that exactly uh, where it uh, should be. But uh, once you put that point right there at 3, that's where that should be. Then we use the slope to say how much we rise and run. Well, the slope is 2. If that's not a fraction, write it in the form of a fraction. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. That means from that y-intercept, from right here at 3, right here at th 3, units high, we're going to rise 2, rise 2 from that, that takes you up to 5, and run 1, because it was 2 over 1. Rise 2, run 1. Once you have those two points, that's all you need to graph the line, and just graph the line through it. And that's how you graph things by the slope-intercept method.